We are Rhonda and Joe Maraca. We've been traveling full-time since June 2020. Recently, we sold our Thor Axis. In this series, we are traveling from Florida to Oregon to pick up our new travel trailer. After leaving Jacksonville Beach in Florida, we took two days and drove to New Jersey. We ended up staying in New Jersey for about five weeks because of other family needs and took some time while we were in the area to explore places nearby. We got to know Belmar a bit better, visited Philadelphia, the Wharton State Forest and Batstow Village in Hamilton, New Jersey. We took day trips to the shore and visited Ocean City and Asbury Park. We celebrated Mother's Day with Joe's mom and Joe's birthday while we were there. Our daughter and her friend came up for the weekend to join in the celebrations. Enjoy the photos and let us know if you have been to any of these areas. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to join our adventures. We have visited Philadelphia for many years when we are in the area. This time we visited the Museum of the American Revolution. It was nice to be in a museum and look back at our history. We enjoyed seeing George Washington's war tent which is preserved in the museum. We parked near Penn's Landing and much of this park was under construction while we were there. We walked throughout the city and enjoyed shopping and sightseeing. We took a drive over to Wharton State Forest which is located in Hamington, New Jersey. Wharton State Forest is the largest single track of land within the New Jersey State Park System. Throughout Wharton are rivers and streams for canoeing, hiking trails, including a major section along the Batona Trail, miles of unpaid roads for mountain biking and horseback riding, and numerous lakes, ponds, and fields ideal for wildlife observation. It is also the site for the nationally recognized Batstow Village, a former bog iron and glass making industrial center from 1766 to 1867 that currently reflects the agriculture and commercial enterprises that existed here during the late 19th century. This was according to their website. It is full of history and a nice place to walk around and look at the older structures. We drove a bit and ended up doing some more hiking on the trails near the Atson Recreation Area. It was not very crowded while we were there, and we were not charged to visit the area. We found out that it was opening to the public the next day before the Memorial Day weekend. This was a really nice trail. It had a nice lake and lots of green trees and lots of blooming flowers. We drove through the camping area to check it out for future use. The campground was nice, but it did not have any hookups. There was a dump station. The campground has 50 tent and trailer sites with fire rings and a picnic tables. It has potable water, flush toilets, and showers that are in, within walking distance. We 
drove over to Ocean City, New Jersey, and had a wonderful day walking on the boardwalk and sightseeing. We were there just before Memorial Day weekend, and the weather was warm, and there were many people vacationing at the shore. We learned about the Sendia, a ship traveling from Japan that was stranded near the Ocean City shore. There were lots of people out shopping and places to eat, along with amusement park and rides in the area. We met up with our new friends, TJ and Red, from Loving Life Hitched Up at Asbury Park. We had lunch, walked on the boardwalk, and had a very nice visit. The beach and boardwalk are beautiful. There were not as many shops and restaurants as I had expected. We loved the murals and artwork. Overall, our five weeks in New Jersey turned out to be very positive. We loved visiting with family, helping Joe's mom with some home projects, and exploring more of the state of New Jersey with fun day trips. Join us for our next video as we head west to Oregon. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.